And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some more Abzan Hero. We're going to be playing this deck another time over in Ranked. Uh, we did a couple of days ago, if you missed that video. For those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you check that out. Also, um, I wanted to play it one last time, though, because I think this is what I'm going to be playing in the MCQ this weekend on Saturday. Um, I will be streaming it uh, at 1.30 Eastern. We'll be streaming the MCQ then. Uh, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, as you can see, I won't be streaming Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to be out of town. Uh, my flight gets back in um, Saturday at like, uh, at like 1230 is whenever I arrive and like a half hour away. So I'll start streaming at like 1:30. So I'll be kind of tired from traveling the, the whole day beforehand. Um, and I won't be having a long stream. We'll just be doing the MCQ on Saturday, but, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it goes well. And so we're going to be getting one last test session in with this deck. Um, I just really like this deck. You know, it's not, like somebody asked, is it the best deck in the format a little bit ago? It's not the best deck in the format, but it's it's a deck that I really like. I really like all the different interaction that it has. It usually plays really close games. Um, sometimes they go our way, sometimes they don't. But uh, this is what I kind of want to play this weekend. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. We'll play five matches over in Ranked. And let's go. Let's see how it does. Nothing too new to say about it. It's the the same list that we played two days ago. You know, like, the, we're just going to go with the same list here. <laughs> yeah, so playing some more with it. I, I also have... Uh, oh, I put Orzhov combo. I don't know why I put Orzhov combo. This is not a combo deck. I guess I was thinking of Is It Storm combo. This is, we actually have another Hero of Precinct 1 deck that's a donation deck that we're going to be playing after this. So we are kind of playing two, you know, two very similar decks back to back. But the reason why I'm doing that is because this deck I really need to play one more league and practice with before, before the weekend. But then we got a donation deck that's kind of similar but just soars off after this. All right, so slow hand. They have a very fast hand. Double goose. That thing's gonna kill me. That was just the perfect card. Yeah, Corvold. Corvold gonna kill me. I think I would probably keep this hand again, even though it really didn't work out whatsoever. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. It didn't hate it. It didn't look so bad. But when they're on the play and they have turn three Corvold before I can play anything, it starts to look a lot worse. <clears throat> do I want to play Kaya's Wrath? I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do.
don't know what else I want to take out. Got to take out two more cards. Maybe Paradise Druid comes out. And that's where I fit Kaya's Raz in instead. Because of Mayhem Devil. Like Mayhem Devil's ability to pick off X1. No, I don't have any Noxious Grasp. It's not a ton I really want Noxious Grasp for. Like, what's what's the deal with this? It's great against Simic. I wouldn't bring it in here anyway. Jeez. Need gonna need another land. All right, good. That's the start. Gonna be down to sixteen. So I let myself in. Kind of want to say goose, actually. Look at them having forest swamp. I think we just get rid of the goose. Yeah, usually I would get rid of oven. But I think I want to slow them down mana-wise and everything. Yeah, usually I'd be getting rid of Oven. Let's see. I'm gonna make myself scarce. If I if I would have gotten rid of Oven, they were gonna be able to play Trail of Crumbs and then use their goose to sack of food and then start finding something else. This makes it a lot slower process now. You better you beat me this time. Bravo. Watch your back from here on out. Not sure. Probably not supposed to be attacking there. Really? I just put that to spark down the bottom? Man, I've done... Pretty bad job today with the scries. I've done a pretty bad job with the scries. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Was that you beat? Well done. 
Good to see me no more. Well, that was a lot easier, Scry. Uh, the deck looks good, yes, J Jack. But no, I already had a donation deck for first slot on Monday, so the the so the first slot I have available is the second slot on Monday. I I can't do first on Monday because I have somebody donated yesterday for first Monday. Um, so I can do, you know, first Tuesday or second, third, or fourth Monday. So close. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Because if I attack out, they eat Kethis, eat Hero, eat Tulsimer, take eight, go to two. I lose three creatures. I still have six. And they're at two. That does sound pretty good. Yep, those are the correct blocks. Now I don't have lethal anymore. Well, yeah, I do. That's a lot of damage at Kaya. So it's still lethal. Rith. Hmm. So I think I need Paradise Druid on the draw more than I need it on the play. I think on the draw I'm a little slow without it. Tulsmer didn't look good. 
I gave me two bodies. Gonna cut a six drop. Liliana. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep one Tulsimer in here. Do I really have enough things to kill Corvold? I got a Dispark, two Trophy, three Mortify. So honestly, I probably just don't have enough things to kill Corvold. Obviously, the Kaya's Wrath also, and then these things, Garakugan. Yeah, the, the Tulsimer um, Garrett com combo is really nice for sure. I don't love casting trophy on turn two, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Doing that to be able to protect Kaya. So I can play Kaya minus and they can't kill Kaya immediately. But obviously, if they just have Corvold again, <clears throat> I'm in a lot of trouble. Thank you, Storm. Thank you, thank you. No. Why do they always have to have Corvold every single game? They had it games one and two. Doesn't that mean they can't have a game three? At least for one more turn so that I would be able to play Ugin afterwards to kill it. It's not this turn. But obviously, that's probably game. They just get to draw millions of cards. I was hoping to draw something that would kill Corvold. Did not. Oh, yeah, have a great night, Storm. Kethis gets killed by Golgari Queen. So we'll just play the two bodies out here. Oh. 
All right, so I do not have enough for Corvold in my deck. Need to play more to spark. Corvold card is nasty. I mean, I have more to spark in the deck. I just didn't have them in that game, but my deck's like, oh, here's the cards you need. You need Paradise Druid so you could be faster, so you could play Ugin the next turn. You need Mortify so you could kill it. Here's these cards you needed. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna have a, a home warranty. Assume I, I didn't think I was going to go home shopping for something without a warranty. been a brutal flame sweep. So I'm putting the counters on the Night of Autumn. They respond to flame sweep. Oh, this is a Jeskai deck. Not, is it? Flash. Getting Ugin in play because Ugin can kill Fires of Invention. I can have Ugin kill a Cavalier and Mortify Fires. You know, I can I can take out both of them. All right, should have had Liliana play. So they're looking for that white mana for that Clarion. Unfortunately, I was left with two temples there, so I didn't get to play Liliana. That was obviously the card I really wanted to play. That's the follow-up. So this is, you know, like a nice combo. You know, like I, I can, I can sacrifice this token to draw the card underneath it and draw a new card. If I would like. Wait, so they put a card back on top that they won and then scry it to the top? Aren't you supposed to put a card that you don't want back on top and then scry it to the bottom? I can create I'm going to keep double mortify available here and not play Liliana. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should have played Liliana previously with all those creatures in play. Yeah, I guess so. Pain is weakness, leaving the body.
Good. No lance in the graveyard right now. So this doesn't do any damage, which is crucial. Just surrender right More tutus. Rise and shine. Truth lies Spend beyond. six mana, get some tutus. Its pain is our gain. Um let's draw this trophy and then hopefully get a land in these two cards, because we get we get two extra cards. We need a green land. Should have kept the Temple of Malady untapped. So by taking up here, we get to draw three cards. We get to draw the trophy from the Ugin, the card from Braska, which was a Tulsimer, and the card from Liliana, whatever that will be. You get build your own ancestral recall. Darn, not an extra land to have trophy available. We got it. Elder spell? No. Nope. I could have played Garrick. Yeah, maybe I should have played Garrick. That would have been fun. All right, more to Spark. Um, Knight, Trophy. No Legion's End. No Oath of Kaya. i trim some of these Golgari Queens. I don't like Tulsimer for this matchup. Play a couple duress and call it a day. All right, break. Good night, Mid Ranger. Yeah, we do ultimate Brasco a lot. That is true. We take a long time to win otherwise. Opponents like, where? What are my anti Ugin and anti Liliana and anti Vraska ult cards? That's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing a couple of duress here because of um, because of fires of invention and deafening clarion. Both of those are, are wonderful cards to duress. I don't want to. I'm not playing all three. You know, most all their threats are the creatures, but the cards that aren't like those cavaliers that keep them alive early, Clarion, and of course, Fires of Invention. Like, basically, Fires are just so important. So, those two cards. Those are two cards I want to duress away. I got a couple of them.
They kept one card on top, put two to the bottom. Well then. I was thinking... Uh, it's a good chance they kept fires on top. And... So I waited for them to draw that card. All right, we gotta, we gotta get some lands out of this deck. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday somewhere. It's Taco Tuesday everywhere. Oh, right. I can't Fable Passage on their turn. Because it's I take her. Wow, I only have one basic left to get. Taco I mean, I had two tacos, stuff, and now I have to decide if I want to eat another large taco or put this stuff away. Probably put the stuff away so you can have a delicious meal again in the future. That's what I'd recommend. That game was embarrassing. Besides duress, could play these things. I guess this kills Tithe Taker. But then Bone Crusher Giant to fair like Bone Crusher Giant to fair what they what it usually kills. I'll play a couple of Othakayas. I like Othakaya. It's versatile. It's cheap. Yeah. If I would have fetched with Fable Passage, then we would have drawn awesome stuff. If I would have fetched before, the Tithe Taker just got me. All right, definitely like the Midnight Reaper. How are we sequencing this? I guess we're going turn two Druid, turn three Reaper. <laughs> yeah, I definitely get hungry during stream. Yeah. Absolutely. Was it yesterday? I think yesterday I think I was really hungry during stream. I think that was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday.
Gotta get that extra mana. Tithe Taker is really strong. It's a wreck of me. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. Surprised at how aggressive they're being with the Tithe Taker, to be honest. You know, like they're they're trading trading damage here. It's better to kill the 4-4 four, four and have to spark for, uh, like, like Blue Cavalier, you know, like some of the other Cavaliers. But I didn't want to give them an extra land. You know, it's basically best to save Trophy as long as possible. Play their Skyland first and then Shimmer. It's not good sequencing. Why wouldn't they want their Tithe Taker to die? Like, wouldn't it be better to sit back and protect the Teferi or protect their life total than do the two damage? Isn't that the whole point of Tithe Taker is to protect stuff? Gosh. I mean, if they have, like, Shock for Midnight Reaper and then Clarion, it's obviously terrible for me. Like, that that's the worst-case scenario, which is a very real scenario also. I'm not sure if I should. I'm not sure if I should just mortify.
the fires or something they could get off of fires. Or like, you know, like a creature. Kind of want to mortify a creature. No. No, we kill that. Because they're probably just playing one creature. Then I can have Garrick kill creature. Where before they'd be able to play two creatures, we have we mortify one, but then they also get to activate the castle and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I just gotta kill fires. Yep, yep, that's something I had to kind of dance around. If they did not block with Tithe Taker, then need to mortify before their turn and obviously if I would have mortified before that hero died if I would have made up my mind before combat damage I would have gotten an extra token yeah because I really want to get rid of fires if I, if I play Garrick and kill Cavalier with Garrick then they get to play multiple things and can haste and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to get fires out of there. Not the best hand. You don't see a lot of watery graves around. Yeah, I haven't played against a Grixis deck in a long time. Assume this is another Fires of Invention deck. Like a safe assumption. Everyone is expendable except me. So I have a planeswalker that doesn't do anything. And a land. And I played my lands pretty bad, I don't even get to activate castle here now. I had like one thing to play my land towards, I didn't do it. What's up, Shankerstone? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Our sixth sub of the day. Oh, thank you, Zan. Glad it's helping out. Alright, well I guess we're not disparking fires, because there's two of them. I've already seen over half of my lands <laughs> in the whole deck. I cannot exploit. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Hone your prowess. And what would it be like to have spells? that be like a world where you have spells uh, interesting technique I don't know, my, my opponent's life looks pretty cool 
they're, you know, playing spells and everything. That looks fun. Keep an open mind. Gotcha. Nice thought erasure. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. Spells are overrated. Long term investment in land is better. <laughs> Good help is easy. Hopefully. To find in war. They kept that card on top with Auto Erasure, so I want a tro trophy right now. So if they go grab a land, they have to shuffle. Yeah, you should be allowed to play a Field of the Dead if you only draw a land. If you don't draw a single spell. Um, blocking Rider could get blown up by a removal spell. If I triple block Rider, if I triple block the two two, even if, like one removal spell doesn't blow it up. Should just get Elder Spell one with Liliana. Sure, or that. I like our chances here post board. Obviously, that was just a ridiculous display of drawing nothing but land. This is still sixty four. <laughs> I hate playing lands in the main. Can we draw lands this time? Yay. It's a good first card. Darn. I need that Mortify. Want to destroy Fires of Invention? Hopefully no Sweeper for a little while. Hopefully these heroes can do some good work. 
So I'm basically forever away from casting those things anyway. they have fires. Okay, we, we can draw spells too. We don't have to just only draw land. I mean, I did want to draw a couple lands. But we need to draw spells. In exchange for eternal servitude. Witness a moat of my power. This thought distortion's not doing anything right now. Fires of invention just lets them get rid of their hands too fast. Yay, we drew a spell. I won't forgive this. You have tasted but a drop of power. Uh, how many lands would I play in that kind of Grixis Fires? Probably like 27. My intellect is without limit. At least 26. Certainly no less than 26. Shouldn't have boarded out the last couple of ways to kill Fires of Invention. I mean, that's that's really just the card that matters, right? Like, without Fires of Invention, that Grixis deck's never winning. And so I took out a Mortify and a Knight of Autumn because I thought I had enough stuff, like, with all the Disparks and Trophies and everything, but I just shouldn't have. I mean, like, there's one thing that you have to do. You just have to destroy Fires if they have Fires. And besides that, everything else is easy. I didn't do the one thing I needed to do. So I lost. And I should have taken... I didn't really take into account the fact of them having a lot of discard with Thought Erasures plus dur Duresses and things like that where I need to have even, you know, even more... Um, you know, I had like a probably around 10 removal spells for fires, but it wasn't enough. I drew one, but, you know, it got discarded. I need to have more. Yeah, I, I played some Brawl. Not not a lot, but yeah, I played some Brawl. There's, there's some Brawl videos on YouTube. I do want a fourth land, but this is just an awkward mana base right now. Hmm. this that overgrown tomb was just like the best draw i could possibly have that that honestly was the best possible draw i could have because that you know let me play the cat this this turn and then that gives me castle for tulsimer oh, oh no that does not give me castle for tulsimer because i need double green
All right. I didn't block because of that, but now it doesn't matter if Kethis dies, so I'll just be blocking. There's so much life gain in standard, it's hard to be a red deck. I'm probably going to be activating this castle lock, Twain. Drawing another card. Now, yeah, life gain is basically a counter spell. Yeah, it's basically like it's basically like a counter spell. Activate the castle. I'll wait. I got those two lands down at the bottom, which is why playing the Fable Passage Shuffle isn't great. Champion equips Embercleave for zero. Ooh, they're not going for a champion though. So Kethis going to recast Tulsimer from the graveyard. Five. I'm gonna go down to five. I'm gonna be gaining six life this next turn. Jeez, maybe more than that. So exile Tulsimer and Kethis. Play Oath of Kaya and Tulsimer. And might as well shock and replay this Kenrith. Kind of 
All right, so they gotta kill Kenrith. Nope. So why not use Tulsimur to fight and Othakai hit their faces? Because I was worried about another one of those pump, sp pump spells. They would give their creature plus three, plus two. So I started with Othakaya first so they wouldn't just kill my my 3-3, three, three. <clears throat> even though I would fight anyway, um, if they did have that. But basically I didn't value the three damage at them with having stuff like Kenrith. Like, the three damage at them I didn't value at all. All right, Legion's End. <clears throat> Kaya Oath Knight Knight Trophy Cut six mana walkers Cut Midnight Reaper Take out one to spark Because Dispark's just for Ember Cleave. I still got another Dispark, and I got the Knight of Autumns <clears throat> as well. Is that enough? Fourth. Oh, I have trophies also. So seven, eight. So I still have eight. Gosh, I had Dispark last time too for, for fires. I had so many things for fires last game. Yeah, I mean, Mortify is going to kill, like, Torbran, and um, if they have Frenzy post-board, which is which is something they could definitely have, but then it could also just, you know, kill a Robber the Rich or a Steamkin or things like that. I like Mortify. It's a versatile instant speed is clutch. Out here, spitter. <clears throat> All right, so I got to deal this war boss still. Have my green source. I'm gonna, cast, I'm gonna need to cast this trophy. All right, blow it up. Get a one-one. War boss and hero just kind of trade. <clears throat> Shock and trophy trade. Think they're gonna coil my one one? No, probably not likely.
So I shocked in so that I could have uh, Castle Arnville make 1 1. So I can be able to have a blocker. We saw them, you know, have like the one mana, give their creature plus three plus two. We saw them have a, a bunch of those. It's uh, another reason why Mortify is good against something instant speed like that. Let's get the nice two for one. All right, two and two. <clears throat> All right, last game. I guess this is pretty awkward if we want to play. No, it's not too. It's not so bad. We just have to shock on turn two. Yeah, never mind. This is fine. Basically, putting Mortify to the bottom to look for more impactful cards, but it would be a certainly be a reasonable card to draw. We're leading with Paradise Druid. Thank you so much there, Wayward. Oh, yeah, I know that place. That is a really good place. Joe T. Garcia's. I won't be in that area, but... Um, yeah, it's a good place. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we played a Moldratha. I'm going to just start unloading my hand, having Castle Lock Twain. Hopefully draw some multicolor spells. Wouldn't mind drawing that Mortify I put down to the bottom a little while ago. Ridiculous. Hey, what's up, Yun? Wow, 
Why? There's that Mortify. No. Boo. Man, yeah, Flood is real today. Flood is real today. All right, so I want to rest. Don't love the six mana planeswalkers. The spark's obviously just gone. Um, I don't know. Is this a thought distortion matchup? It's so expensive. I'm a little worried about Flame Sweep. No, I'm not going to be cutting a land. Yeah, that that's the best time to play Thought Distortion is after a Gadwick. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the yeah that that's yeah exactly like that's that's when I'd want to bring it in is try to be able to play it after, you know, keep it in hand, wait till after a Gadwick, and then play it. That's the ideal scenario. Well, they don't just have a lava coil, but we know that you know their deck plays a lot of scorching dragon fires. So like playing midnight reaper doesn't necessarily mean that like you're you're going to be able to draw cards. So I like putting the pressure on them like this. You know, incentivize them to counter that. Where you know they just have to take the damage. B 
be able to play a threat. I still want to find more threats. Which is why I'm putting the Mortify to the bottom. Kind of the same thing, like they need to find more answers, which is why they're putting the Cutthroat down to the bottom. Speaking of threats, that's a good one. That's a good one. expecting dream eater i wasn't sure what they were gonna have but this is annoying I, I would like to bring back the midnight reaper but now i have to put a counter on the paradise druid if i would have put the counter on the paradise druid last turn instead of the kenrith this would have been a lot better for me Then I could have just re-resolved with the Kenrith. I was thinking that the difference between a 2-1 and a 3-2 isn't that big of a deal as far as removal spell goes with, you know, things like Flame Sweep and everything. So that's why I put the counter on the Kenrith. But that was not the... Not the best play against Flame Sweep. Down to just the two cards now. That's nice. Kenrith did resolve again. All right, JJ. Have a good one. So this Knight of Autumn is not going to be good. Do I really want, do I want to play Thought Distortion? Instead of any of these planeswalkers. I kind of feel like I should. I 
gonna play instead of the Ugin. No, I think just the one Legion's end for Cutthroat's fine. Uh, could definitely play another one. It's not only... Like, if you get to resolve Legion's end, it's not only good at, you know, getting rid of Cutthroat, but then being able to see their hand in this kind of matchup is really valuable. So it is a good spell. Hand doesn't do anything yet. That's why I got the temple to scry. <clears throat> it's possible my hand just never does anything. I don't like my odds of winning this. Now after seeing four cards and none of them being land, none of them being white mana, and then also my opponent having turn two cutthroat. Worst possible for me and worst possible for me to see from them. mulliganed that just shouldn't be a keep like just temple you know green black temple overgrown tomb that's just a bad keep by my part that's all that is that's that's me keeping a hand i really should not have so which is why i need the practice that's why i need the practice i don't i don't really mind that matchup Overall, um, you know, we saw game one, how it just completely flooded out, and then game three didn't have any lands. But the, the game three, that's my fault, not mulliganing the hand. Um, and, yeah, I don't I don't really – we had some we had some really poor variants today with the deck, which is good. Get, get the poor variants today so that we get the good variants on Saturday. You know, I'm not really worried about losing to a Grixis deck at all. Um and our other loss, yeah, was just they had early Corvold games one, two, and three. Um, sure. I mean, it's yeah, being on the draw hurts, but I wouldn't mind that. All right, but there we go. There's Abzan Hero. There's our our practice for the MCQ. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just hopefully have. A lot better mana draws uh, on Saturday because we had a lot of games where we just flooded out completely. Had a couple like that where, well, that was, I think that was really the only the only one that we got really stuck on land. But I need a mulligan better. Yeah, yeah, we went two three today. That means we're gonna get all the wins next time. All right, uh, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button and um, uh, yeah, hit that like button. Leave those comments and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I will. I'll uh, try this again on Saturday. Hope to see y'all there. And for those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you uh, check it out and like the deck and everything like that. Um, you liked the Abzan Rampage from yesterday more. That that is the other deck that I was really considering, which you know, I mean, I didn't do well with this one, so I could, uh, so I could go to the, to the uh, to, so I could go to the Abzan Rampage also. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know in the comments. Do you want Abzan Rampage or Abzan Hero? Which deck would you like me to play? All right, but thank you so much for for watching. Uh, some Abzan Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.